Welcome back to the Tahoe Real Estate Show. We're joined this week with Tim Bledsoe from the South Tahoe Public Utility District. Tim, you're the customer service manager for some of our viewers that aren't familiar with you, haven't seen you on one of our shows. Uh, tell us about your role at the uh, district. Uh, Pete, like you said, I am the customer service manager for the South Tahoe Public Utility District. Uh, the district serves roughly 14,000 water customers, a little over 18,000 sewer customers. Uh, district has a big responsibility of maintaining about 330 miles of sewer line and roughly a little over 250 miles of water line. Tim, the real estate market's heating up a little bit. Uh, new construction is a lot more feasible and you're starting to see a lot of new construction projects. What's the first step as it relates to putting a new, new home in or a second home in um, as it relates to the water district? Uh, right now is the perfect time to get started for next season. Um, we ask the customers to bring in uh, a copy of their grant deed, a copy of their construction plans, and most importantly, we ask them to bring in a fire letter, whether they be building in the city or the county, mm -hmm. whichever one it represents. Uh, the fire letter tells us what size fire line needs to go into that home. Um, we've been very fortunate to not increase the capacity charges over the last three years, so that has helped spur a little bit of the construction in the past. Um, one of the things that we have ran into is we're getting down to the, the property lots in South Lake Tahoe that are kindly at the end of our system. Mm -hmm. These vacant lots are, are normally served under a uh, six inch water main line, which can pose a problem. So under six inches means that there could be some water pressure issues? There could be some water pressure issues. And what we'll do is when the customer brings in uh, a set of their construction plans, we will immediately look it up on our grids to see if that line is under six inches, then we will have to ask the customer to give us a couple of weeks to send it up to our engineering department because we want to be sure um, that the, the pressure is there, that the flow is there before this customer builds this nice house and goes to turn on the water and it doesn't work. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So we want to be sure that the, the flows and the pressure are there to operate their fire system and, and of course their domestic service. I'm going to assume that new construction uh, mandates that you have a water meter, which all Tahoe homes will have here uh, on, a, on a scheduled rollout, but is that the case? Absolutely. Um, that is the case on all new construction now. It does require a water meter. The district is uh, responsible for putting that water meter in. And like I said a minute ago, now is the good time to bring your plans by for us to look at them, get them stamped off. That way we can get you in line come May 1st to get out there, get the, get the uh, domestic service, fire line service installed so you can start building. All right, so some of our viewers, you know, maybe aren't from South Tahoe. Where, is it, where are you located? What's the website and the phone number to contact uh, you and your staff at the district? The website is stpud.us. Our main phone number is area code 530-544-6474. And I always encourage customers to call in with any questions they may have because we'll be more than happy to help. Tim, I learned something new every time you come in. Appreciate you coming and join us. Thank you, Pete. All right, stay tuned. More of the Tahoe Real Estate Show coming up after this segment.